Hello everyone, today I will show you how to model this in point. Let's start. The first thing you will start with is blocking and it's better to make your blocking as simple as possible. For this one I'm just starting with a box and trying to add some edges to match the reference. You have to keep it simple as much as you can. This will make it easier for you when you try to modify the shape or fix something you did it and it doesn't look right. I like to use modifier double FD. Uh, especially when you have uh, curves. You could do it manually, but if you use this modifier, this will make it easier for you to control your shape. It's too simple. The blocking is very important in the modeling process because this is the model that you will use to make your high poly and it's the model that you will use to build your low poly. I will show you how in the next parts. Here I uh, have to add this part to the shape. I'm using the modifier WFD again. Modeling just needs some practice and uh, blocking is uh, the easiest step and the most important too. Uh, in this level you're gonna need to pay a lot of attention to your reference and keep it in front of you the whole time. You could use the blueprint method uh, if you have uh, images for your if you have images like uh, from four direction for your model uh, this will be very good for you or you could just keep looking at the reference and match what you see. As you see now I'm trying to fix or uh, adjust my model to uh, match the reference uh, that's why you should keep your model as low as possible to make it easier for you if you did something wrong or you need to fix it uh, it's not gonna be confusing at all the curve I'm trying to use as less amount of edges as possible even for curves of course I will add more edges uh, later but till now I'm just trying to see my silhouette the basic shape for the model uh, till I add all details needed like basic or big details first then I will go to add more edges and try to modify the shape even more adding edges to make a curve yeah I'm using uh, modifier double FD again One more thing you should keep in mind while you're modeling your blocking is to keep it quiet. Don't use triangle at this level, uh, just keep it quiet. The second thing is avoid using turbo smooths to show your model, to see your model. Some people like to add turbo smooths just to see uh, some area curvy or smooth. No, if you have some part in your model that should be curvy or smooth, make sure you have edges and to, to modify these edges to look curvy. Like if you have a curve in your model, you should have a curve in your blocking. Don't just rely on turbo smooths. Don't ever use turbo smooths and blocking level. Wait till you model your high poly. And be sure that your base model have all basic and big shapes and big details for your asset. Forget about small details right now, we're gonna add it later. 